If you are diagnosed with a serious illness like cancer, you may want to or need to continue working during and after treatment. Sometimes, members of your healthcare team may assume that you do not want to work. So it is important to talk to your healthcare team about your desires or need to work. Employers may also assume that you are no longer able or do not want to work. If you are experiencing side effects from treatment, there may be tools you can use to help you manage your side effects at work. There is a federal law called the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, that protects people with serious medical conditions from discrimination at work. The ADA also provides a tool to make it easier to work through treatment and to return to work after treatment. This tool is called a reasonable accommodation. What are reasonable accommodations? Reasonable accommodations are any changes to the workplace environment or space, a workplace policy, your work schedule, or any other changes that will help you do your job. Reasonable accommodations can be used in any type of job. Meet Mark. Mark has been working at a home and garden store for six months. He is currently getting treatment for cancer, but he hasn't taken any time off work because he already used his sick days and he doesn't have a disability insurance policy. If he took time off, he wouldn't be able to pay his bills. But side effects of Mark's treatment have been affecting him at work. He is always tired, often feels sick to his stomach, and has severe pain in his feet that comes and goes. Mark needs to keep working for the paycheck and health insurance coverage, but he also truly enjoys going to work. What can Mark do? He could ask for reasonable accommodations at work. There are five key steps to getting a reasonable accommodation to deal with side effects at work. Step one, talk to your healthcare team about your side effects. There may be medications or other treatments that can help you with your side effects. In Mark's case, his doctor might be able to give him medication to help him with his upset stomach. Step two, understand your employment rights. The ADA gives eligible employees access to reasonable accommodations to make it easier to work through treatment and return to work after treatment. Most states have a similar law which also provides these protections. If you work for a small business, the state law may be the law that applies to you. Step three, figure out what accommodations might help you. First, you need to think about the side effects that you are experiencing and how they are affecting you at work. Then you need to think about what might help you deal with those side effects at work. The definition of a reasonable accommodation is very broad, so you can think creatively about what types of accommodations might be helpful to you where you work. In Mark's case, he talked to his healthcare team to deal with his upset stomach. But to deal with his other side effects, he could ask for reasonable accommodations from his employer. To deal with his fatigue, he may be able to get more breaks during his shift, or if he is less tired earlier in the day, maybe he can work an earlier shift. To deal with the pain in his feet, he may be able to move from working in the garden center to working at the paint counter or at a checkout counter where he could sit on a stool. You can also get more than one reasonable accommodation if you need it. In Mark's case, he could move to the paint counter and get additional breaks during his shift. Step four. Understand your employer's rules. You should find out if your employer has any rules about reasonable accommodations. For example, your employer might have a process for how you should ask for accommodations. That process might be described in your employee handbook. If your employer doesn't have a process, you should think about who you want to ask, when is the best time to ask, and what is the best way to ask. The answers to these questions are going to depend on your workplace and your relationships. For example, you may want to start with your supervisor if you have a good relationship. If you feel more comfortable talking to a human resources representative, you may start there. In either case, it is important to be prepared to discuss different options for accommodations that might be helpful to you. You can even practice your ask ahead of time. If you feel more comfortable making a request for reasonable accommodations in writing, you could do that, too. Step 5. Make sure everyone is on the same page. The last step to getting a reasonable accommodation is to make sure everyone is on the same page and that there is no confusion about what was agreed to. 
For example, you could ask your employer to put your accommodations in writing. If your workplace is less formal, you could send an email thanking your supervisor for talking with you about your request for accommodations and list what was agreed to. Once you get your accommodations at work, you also need to monitor them to make sure they are working for you. If at some point they stop working or your needs change, you can ask for a new accommodation. For more information about reasonable accommodations and navigating a cancer diagnosis at work, visit triagecancer.org.